One of the first things I learned to make when I first started cooking was a white sauce and I found it incredibly useful ever since. It's a very simple recipe. We're using three ingredients which is milk, butter and flour. Now to start off with I'm going to start heating the milk very gently. Now it's equal proportions of butter to flour and in this case I'm using 25 grams of butter and what we do is we wait for that butter to melt. Once that's almost started foaming we add in the flour. Now it's probably going to take about a minute or two till it's come to the right colour and you'll smell almost like a lovely nuttiness coming from that. There are there's lots of variations you can do on this sauce. This, as I said, is a very, very simple, very classic white sauce that you can actually use as foundation and build on it. So we can make a bechamel, which is very similar, but you add onions, bay leaves, peppercorns to the milk when you're heating it. So that's sort of more layers of flavour. Or you can use a white sauce and you can add some parsley at the end to get a parsley sauce or cheese, so that's your classic Mornay sauce. So as a foundation, it's, a, it's an excellent, excellent starting point for a lot of different sauces. Right, that's now come to the colour and the right smell that I wanted. And now we're going to start adding the milk bit by bit. Now I find it easier to use a ladle so it doesn't, sort of, you don't end up pouring milk everywhere. We'll add in bit by bit, one ladle at a time. And make sure you stir that through so you get a very even base from which to make the sauce. I'm using a wooden spoon, but you can use a whisk, whichever you're more comfortable with. Now, even though we've got all the milk into the sauce, we've got to reduce it a little bit. So the one last thing I have to do is season the sauce with salt and pepper. Now, I'm not going to add any salt at this point because it's going to reduce. So if you add the salt now and reduce it, you're actually going to increase the proportion of salt to sauce, so it'll end up being over-seasoned. So what we'll do is cook it down to the thickness I want and then season it right at the end. So a couple of twists of black pepper and just a little bit of salt. And just have a little taste. So that's exactly what I was looking for. And I'm just going to ladle it into a gravy boat. So there we go, that's it. Incredibly straightforward, very simple, but a very useful base for sources to learn.